really brill. Everyone comes out and shows uh, Thompson community spirit. Really great. And lots of uh, grateful thanks to Liz Hodges for organising it. About two and a half thousand people sat in one long line, so it's quite something. We call it the Nello's Longest Table, and it's um, basically Nello was a restaurateur in Topsham, as uh, many people know. Nello unfortunately died of cancer, but one of his dreams and one of his visions was to have the longest table here in Topsham. And, um, and thanks to this man and the community of Topsham, his dream was realised. Uh, what was the first one? Was that? Uh, I think this is the fourth one we've this done. This is the fourth, the fourth one, one we've done. done. So, yeah. and it's it's such a great event. We wanted the community to be involved, and so for them to bring their food, but to buy it locally, source it locally, which means that obviously it benefits everybody. This epitomises what Nello believed in life, of getting together with friends, eating food and drink, and having a glass of wine. That's what life's about. Quite a lot of people plan for weeks and weeks, well months actually, to uh, what they're going to do. Hello, Topsham. And, and what I love about Topsham is that it's a very community-focused uh, town. You see the tables, yeah. they look fabulous. People are cooking some wonderful foods and it's just, it's really, really great to see. Topsham <laughs> tried, speak with forked tongue. Uh, I'm going to have uh, a little bit of water here. What a good idea. Oh yes, that's good. That's right here. We've got the pumpkin pickle in there. So say it off. Chipola hits you right at the back of the throat. That, that smokiness. We had a slow food Devon Topsham market on the quay, which really showcased... Mike, you always talk about yeah. what a great larder Devon, Devon has. has. Best, best in Europe, I think. And we had fabulous stuff on the quay. Fish just caught straight out of the X um, from Andy Chadwick. We had Shilling Fruit Organics with wonderful, wonderful vegetables. Wonderful food demonstrations as well. Wonderful de demonstrations from the chefs. talented chefs that are here. But also from our butcher, Tony. Yeah, Tony, Made a, yeah. a sausage making demonstration. I don't know that go because he was... Uh, not a few, a man with few words, but you were up there with him, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, he was very nervous, but he's brilliant, and he makes bloody good sausages. <laughs> Everybody loves his sausages. It's great to see that, in particular Devon and, and this community as well, that people really do appreciate life alongside the qualities of food and drink. You know, Jeff from Pebblebed with his vineyards here in Devon, mm -hmm. local producers that are producing fabulous produce. We've got uh, Peter from Piper's Farm here. He's, you he's know, on the fire pits he, over you know, here. It's a traditional brine cure for the, the bellies and then we smoke them over fresh cut oak chips and so that's what I'm taking off now is this rind which is the oak smoked rind and I'm going to take that off and we'll crisp it up so it'll be some nice smoked crispy pork scratchings and then under here is some of the oak smoked pancetta and we're just going to crisp that up on the fire pit Once that goes really nice and crispy, it'll be gorgeous. Just to eat our fingers to go with some of this amazing Topsham wine. Barrett thought that meat would be much more of a treat with a skill that you have to admire. He grabbed your rubber, did it, and went absolutely rigid. Auntie May lost the presence of mine for the daft thing. Open up the door and try to attack from behind. It's been the, the best ever longest table.